In this video, we'll be learning about the powers of quotients and how to simplify these exponents. In our first example, we see that the fraction a over b is multiplied by the exponent, but the exponent is on the outside of the parentheses. So when we look at this, we want to put it in expanded form. So we have a over b times a over b times a over b. Now we always have said in our videos that the exponent is raised to the third power. It's duplicating a over b three times. So when we go to simplify it, a times a times a is a to the third power. b times b times b is b to the third power. Now there's a general rule that we have. And so we will have a over b raised to the power of n. And what this is telling us is that that n is going to be distributed to the numerator, the exponent, which is a little imaginary one here, and to the denominator as well. So we'll have a raised to the nth power over b raised to the nth power. Now this is something that we are going to need some practice on, so let's go ahead and get started. So here we go. The next, e for next equation, we see that we have d, the quantity of d times b over 2d to the third power, b to the fifth power, all raised to the second power. Now I can distribute it out or I can um, duplicate everything inside the parentheses twice. We're going to distribute this time. So we look at this d and it's raised to the first power. If we do not see an exponent there, we know that it's raised to the first power. So when we multiply our outside number to the inside variable or the inside coefficient, we're going to multiply it by one. This coefficient down below is also, is also raised to the first power. So here we go. Let's go ahead and distribute this 2 to each one of the terms. d, 1 times 2 is 2, so we'll have d squared times 1 times 2 is 2, so it's b squared as well. Now down here at the bottom, we have to the first power, 1 times 2 is 2, so our coefficient is going to be 2 to the second power, which we know is 4, and we will simplify that in the next step. So 3 times 2 is 6, so we have d to the 6th power, multiplying there, and 5 times 2 is 10, so b to the 10th power. Now let's go ahead and simplify. We said earlier that we are going to simplify the coefficient, but not only do we simplify the coefficient, but we have d's in the numerators and d's in the denominators. And so we're going to need to look at what we remember about subtracting the exponents when there is division. So with that being said, we notice, and I tell my students, first of all, let's look at which one of the d's has the highest number, highest exponent. And we see that the 6 is the highest and the 10 is the highest for b. This tells us that they are going to stay in the denominator. We just going to figure out what the exponent is. And so in this case, we subtract. So two, 6 minus 2 is 4. So it's going to be 4. And 10 minus 2 is 8. 2 squared is 4. And so this shows that we have canceled out either one of them. And so we also know that it's multiplied to anything. The coefficient in front of the d is that imaginary 1. So we are going to keep our 1 on top. Let's go ahead and duplicate it two times. Let's do it a second time. This might be a little bit easier for you. So we have 2d to the third power, b to the fifth power. And we're going to duplicate it, d times b, over 2 
times d to the third power b to the fifth power. So we duplicated what was inside the parentheses twice. So let's go ahead and look at our numerators. We have d times d times b times b. d times b, d times b, d times d, b times b. We have 2 times 2 is 4. We have d to the third power twice and b to the fifth power twice. So let's go ahead and simplify. So I look like I have three b's, or excuse me, three d's here, and I have two on top. So if I take two away, I'm going to subtract two from this one, which will leave me with just one d left over. And so I would have four times 1d and 3d's, I would have 4d's, so d to the fourth. And then in the top with the b's, I'm taking 2 away. So I take 2 away from this one, which leaves me 3. And 3 plus 5 is 8. So I will have five, eight, excuse me, 8 b's, so b to the eighth power. Now everything on the top, it's not 0. It's going to be 1. So here it is. I I've either used the distributive form or I went ahead and expanded out. But learning the distributive form is important just because if this number is larger than 2, it's going to be a lot of expanding going on. So let's try another problem. Here we go. Let's go ahead and move this example back. And our next example is... The quantity of 6z to the 6th power over 8z to the 5th power. So here we go. I'm going to use distributive property again, just as a reminder that this coefficient is going to have an exponent of 1. And so we're going to distribute to both terms, or this each term, or the coefficient and the variable. So here we go. This will be 6 and the base of 6, and 1 times 2 is 2, so 6 to the second power. 6 times 2 is 12, so we will have z to the 12th power. That's all in our numerator. In the denominator, we have 1 times 2 is 2, so it'll be 8 squared. And then 5 times 2 is going to be z to the 10th power. All right. So here we go. 6 times 6, or 6 squared, is 36. z to the 12th power. All over 8 times 8 is 64. And that is z to the 10th power. Now we're not quite done, because one of the rules when we're doing powers of quotients is we cannot have the same variable in the numerator and in the denominator. So with that being said, I'm going to have to subtract the 12, and I'm going to take away the 10. So I'm going to take away the 10 here. And with our final answer, we will have 36z to the second power over 64. Now, some of you are like, hey, Mr. Payton, this is not the final answer here because I can reduce this fraction. And you're absolutely correct. So I'm going to look at their common denominators. What can go into 36 and 64? And at this time, the number 4 can, and with and both of them. So 4 goes into 36 9 times, and 4 goes into 64 16 times. Let's go ahead and make this 9 just a little better. Therefore, my final answer is going to be 9 z squared over 16. Now I can go ahead and duplicate this because the exponent is 2, and I'm going to see if I can get 9z squared over 16. So here we have 6z to the 6th power over 8z to the 5th power. And let's duplicate it two times, 6z to the 6th and 8z to the fifth. Here we go. 6 times 6 is 36. 
and I have z, remember that when we're multiplying our exponents together, when exponents are being multiplied together, we're going to add the exponents. So this is going to give me z to the 12th power. 8 times 8 is 64. 5 plus 5 is 10. So it's going to be z to the 10th power. This is the same. It's going to be reduced to 9z squared over 16, where we got the same answer. All right, guys, continue to look at other videos on the Math is Simple YouTube channel for more examples. Great job today and hope you understand the powers of quotients a whole lot better. Thank you.